Hey guys, so with the most recent roadmap that AGS has released, they have just announced that the next raid, Echidna, aka Laden, I don't know why they're calling it Laden, it just doesn't make sense. Let's just go with Echidna. Echidna will be coming out in June, which is about a month away. And that has got a lot of people saying that, oh, this is too soon. Why are they coming out with this right after Thaemai, which is one of the hardest raids in existence right now, right? It is the hardest raid in existence um, in the entirety of Lost Ark, even in Korea. Um, why are they coming out with this raid so soon? And they're like, let's delay this, right? For me, I actually think it's the opposite. I actually think it's a good thing that Echidna comes out so soon. Not because, you know, the raid itself is anything super exciting or whatever, or I want it to come sooner. It's because with Echidna comes the advanced honing system. And let me talk about this and why it's good, right? The advanced honing system will basically make it so that you can easily get your character from 1620 to 1630, which is, you know, 1620 is Echidna normal, 1630 is Echidna hard. And even before that, 1610 is they am I normal and 1630 is they am I hard. I would say that a lot of the people who are doing they am I normal, at least on their mains, will have their characters at 1620. And because of this, especially, you know, in my situation, right? I have basically been like, okay, well, since Echidna is coming out so soon, I'm actually not even going to think about honing the 1630 at all. I'm just going to stick it out as 1620 for the rest of the month. And then we'll do normal Echidna and then push my character to 1630 using that. It's much cheaper, much easier, and it's better for efficiency. And this is why I think this is such a good thing that Echidna is coming out sooner. In my opinion, if Echidna was going to come out later, maybe July, August, I might have considered, okay, maybe I'll hold my character from 1620 to 1630 right now. That way, when Echidna comes out, I can just do Echidna hard, get it done with, and also start doing some Thaemine hard. I personally don't think that this is a very healthy mindset or way to play the game because it's so dang expensive to push a character from 1620 to 1630. And I would actually say this is very reminiscent of what has happened in the past. Um, and I think that if they do this and make it so that we don't repeat our past mistakes, it'll be a lot better. And let me show you what I mean by past mistakes. So in front of me, I have this kind of timeline, right? This line of item levels starting at 1415, going all the way up to 1630. So 1415, we pull this back, was Valton normal. Then at 1430, we had Vicus. And then at 1445, we had Valton hard. And at 1460, we had Vicus hard mode. Now, this is very similar to the situation that we have right now, because you could basically say this is Thaemine normal, this is Thaemine hard, and then this is Vicus normal. I guess, you know, Vicus hard, you can put it here if you wanted to. But it's a very similar situation, If you know, even though it's not exactly the same. The reason why I bring this up is because in my recollection of Lost Ark, back when this was the content that we had, I thought that pushing from 1415 to 1445 was an extremely hard endeavor because keep in mind this, right? When we were doing this, some people just pushed straight to 1445 off of Argos gear, which was like 1400 gear, I think. And then some people did normal mode and then pushed all the way to 1445 hard mode before Vicus even came out. And because of that, it was an extremely, extremely hard push. And I think it was some of the hardest push that I have seen in the game and experienced in the game, because it's technically intended that you get Vicus gear and get your relic gear to push your character up to vault and hard and then do Vicus hard afterwards. But because of the way that they released it and because of kind of the um, item level requirements for these uh, two bosses, it became very hard for anybody who wanted to push from 1415 to 1445 to do vault and hard. So in my situation, I actually went with sticking at 1415 and then pushing to 1430 when normal Vicus came out and then doing normal Vicus week one and then eventually pushing up to vault and hard and then pushing up to vault uh, Vicus hard. 
this was kind of the natural way of things and i thought it was weird because i think it would have made more sense if Valtin was like over here and vikos was over here right kind of flipped and i think that makes a lot of sense because if you look at the future of lost ark that's kind of what happens right 1475 we have clown 1490 we have brell and we take this brell normal all the way up to 1440 for brell hard and triangle right there's not a weird in-between gap where brell's like over here or something like that right it's right next to each other and i think that made a lot of sense but on top of this i think they made a very smart choice here in my opinion by only releasing brell normal and not releasing brell hard at the same time because at the time brell was an extremely hard raid and that gave people the opportunity to do Brel normal first to get their upper relic gear and then use that upper relic gear that they get to hone to Brel hard. And by the time they get to Brel hard, they'll have some of the mechanics down for from Brel normal. And really, the only learning curve was learning the additional mechanics for Brel hard. And I think that that was a much more smooth way of doing this compared to what we've done for Thaimine. And we'll get to Thaimine in a little bit. But let's keep going down this, right? So we have Brel hard here, and then we have Kaya normal. Then we flip over here, and we get a Khan normal and Kaya hard, and then we have a Khan hard and Voldus, right? In my opinion, with my recollection of this entire process of 1415 to 1600, I still think that to this day in this section. The hardest push was again from 1415 to 1445. And again, that is because of the fact that we did not get Vicus soon enough so that we could use it to push to um, the next tier. Some people did it, but those people who did it definitely had a tough time in my opinion. Now we go over here again, we've progressed down here. I don't quite remember any of these pushes being particularly difficult. I mean, of course, any push is going to be a little bit difficult, but I still think that this push from 1415 to 1445 was one of the most difficult pushes that I have remembered in my um, Lost Ark history. Now we move forward, right? So we get a Khan hard, um, ivory tower, uh, normal, and then we go to 1610. Now we have Thaimine. Now, a lot of people didn't stay at 1610 because they want to get to 1620 for um, Hard Voldus. And again, right, I would say that even harder than the push from 1415 to 1445 was the push from 1600 all the way up to 16, um, 1620. And uh, we'll just draw this right over. Why is this not drawing? We'll draw this right over here, right? So 1600 to 1620 was the hardest push, which again is because there was nothing in between this area for us to get uh, item level. None of this gave us upgrade for item level to be able to push our characters or it didn't introduce any easier holding system or things like that, right? It was a big push that required us to basically skip a tier into the next tier. So that is again why it was very hard. Now we have 1630, we have, of course, you know, uh, Thaimine hard, Echidna, right? And at 1620, there's also Echidna and Voldus hard. So if we look at the history of things, right? If we, for example, made it so that Echidna didn't come out so soon, it probably would have meant that or not probably would have meant, we have actually experienced this, but the 1620 to 1630 push is extremely difficult. And even more so, if you want to say, you can go from 1610 to 1630 for Thaimine, and that's even harder, right? So I personally think that this, adding these two here, is very, very beneficial for us in that it helps us make this push from 1610 to 1630 much easier well i guess 1620 to 1630 if we're talking about echidna right it'll make it a lot easier for us and i think that is why this is actually a very good decision for them to do now i will say 
my preferred way probably would have been to do something like this, right? Maybe instead of Theamine normal being here, maybe we could have done something like this. And I think that this would have been even better, right? Something like this would have been even better. And then maybe Echidna um, starts like right here or something like that, right? We go from 1620, home to 1630 for Echidna normal, then um, Echidna hard over here at 1640, something like that, right? But instead, it's not really like that. It was It's currently this way. And the other thing that I would have probably wanted them to do and probably could have made things quite a bit easier for us and feel like less of a rush is instead of releasing both Thaimine and uh, Normal and Hard at the same time, I think they should have done what they did for Brel. Because again, Brel at the time was touted as like the hardest raid in the game, right? And this is the same thing again. Thaimine is supposed to be the hardest raid in the game right now. So I would have loved to see them basically do the Brel approach of releasing Thaimine normal for everybody, have everybody only do Thaimine normal, make it again, 1620 maybe, right? And then after that, releasing Thaimine hard in June, where we would have released uh, Echidna, right? So I think that that would have been a much more smooth way to do it. But again, we are in our current time and it is what it is. We've already, we had to deal with what's happening in the present and what's going on. So I think that all things considered, releasing Echidna sooner rather than later is much better than, you know, releasing it later, just because it's going to help us smooth out that honing process. So we don't have to raw dog our way from 1620 to 1630, which is extremely expensive. And then, you know, of course, eventually it'll help us reach 1640, which is Behemoth, right? So that is why I think that the current pace of content is actually very good for us. While it might be a little bit more stressful in terms of like us having to learn a new raid so quickly afterwards, I think that the fact that they release Echidna so soon will actually alleviate a lot of the honing stresses that we have in this game to hone from 1620 to 1630 without advanced honing. I don't know if you guys agree. That's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash misuexshiru starting at 10 p.m. PST. So hopefully I see you guys on my stream, but if not, hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.